Now, Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has this week announced a rent freeze for public and private rented properties as part of efforts to help people struggling with rising bills. Well, the First Minister said that this cost of living crisis was a humanitarian emergency which could cost lives. She's also written to Liz Truss asking her to convene a four-nation meeting of political leaders to discuss further help to help households. Joining us now is the Global Communications Director of the flat and house share website, Spare Room. Matt Hutchinson, welcome to the programme, Matt. Um, what's not to like? I mean, it's going to be incredibly welcome news for renters. Um, I think it's already been incredibly unwelcome news for landlords and the difficulty we have is right now at this point in time demand for rooms is through the roof and supply is very very limited um, and so you know landlords are obviously worried about that but renters will be rubbing their hands with glee I think the main issue really is that it's a very short-term fix for what is a very long-term problem even if we cap rents now they're already way higher than a lot of people can afford and some sort of long-term long strategy to bring them down is what we need more than anything. And, and have the landlords been profiteering, or is it just because of the cost pressures that they're facing as well to actually provide uh, gas, electricity and all the other uh, sort of services? There's always a bit of both. There are always some people who will put their prices up because the market will support that. Yeah, and there yeah. are people who put prices up because their costs go up, you know, with interest rates going up. The cost of materials and labour for renovating properties. If you can get hold of the workmen, I guess, to even yeah, do it. So yeah, so there are genuine concerns from landlords. Um, but as always, some people do put their rents up simply because they can achieve those rents.